2019 NBA trade deadline is finally over and uh, what a week it has been. All-stars such as Chris Tapps for Zingis and Mark Gasol will now be playing for new teams while younger players like Markel Fultz and Dennis Smith Jr. will have a fresh start somewhere else. But today's biggest headline was a trade that did not happen as the Pelicans chose to keep Anthony Davis. So today we'll talk about the winners and the losers of the trades that happened. And joining me today is two-time UAP champion, former PBA starting point guard, and now the starting point guard of the Navotas Club. Oh, yes. Jai <laughs> Reyes, a.k.a. the Karate Kid. May ka ba nagbabanda? Eh, nakakatulong ba sa laro mo yun sa MPBA? Eh? Um, Oh, oh, may powers yung ah, may bandana. Powers, ba? May powers oh, na. Oh, okay. well, that's good. <laughs> Now, hindi gumana yung powers ng Lakers in trying to get Anthony Davis. So be honest with all of us here. How disappointed are you na yung the biggest trade dapat na mangyayari did not happen? Ito yung trade kasi na to parang lahat ng tao alam na mangyayari na eh. So parang naging kontrabida yung New Orleans dito. Siguro nagtampo sila because of the way that the, the news was uh, brought out to, to the public. So... I think they're going to want to ask a lot of pieces for, for them to be able to trade Anthony Davis. But for the Laker fans, you know, we know that LeBron and Anthony Davis, they want to play together. Pero sayang, hindi natuloy ngayon. Maybe you guys have to wait out for the rest of the season. Now, we'll talk about the Lakers at length in, uh, in our later segment. So let's talk about the other things that happened. Now, Harry, Harrison Barnes got traded. And then, mas malaking balita pa nangyari na was not the actual trade. <laughs> But what LeBron James said yes. about the trade. Now, uh, LeBron, uh, in his IG post, uh, he said, uh, I'm not knocking who traded. It's a business. You have to do what's best. Pero gusto niya mabago kasi yung how trades are perceived. You know, yes. yung, the narrative na, ano yung uh, sinasabi mo kanina, parang pag player ka, you want to get traded, swapang ka, oh. selfish ka. Pag team naman, trinig ka, walang kaalam-alam, it's a business. Mm. Now, do you agree with LeBron that that kind of storyline has to change? Well, I guess to each is his own opinion about about things. Pero kasi dito, it's all about the fans. You know, the team, of course, they want to protect their brand. So, when they make a business decision, which is to trade the player, kasi ang tingin ng NBA teams, I think, sa players, medyo may pagka-commodity na rin sila eh. They're... they're They're people that bring in money well, for, they, for they the are, company. They are commodities yes. that get moved oh. around. And so, then, yeah. kadalasan, uh, players have no say exactly. kung saan sila mapupunta. And of course, being a business, if you're a team, you're going to put out a storyline that will protect the, the brand. Saying it's a better situation for, for the player na kung saan man siya mapupunta. Pero ngayon, pag yung players naman ang humihin ng trade, ang lumalabas is swapang, hindi loyal. Pero para naman sa players, ang iniisip rin lang naman nila is, yun yung pinakamagandang desisyon para sa akin at sa pamilya ko. I guess, malaking bagay rin is yung kung paano nilalabas ng players yung, yung gusto nilang mangyari sa careers nila. Like, let's say, like a Markle Fultz, uh, for instance. So, he gets, he gets traded. Uh, I don't know if this is something that he wanted. Uh, I, I don't know if he wanted to end yung career niya sa Sixers na trinade siya, but these things happen. So, Ikaw man nakikita mo, Jaina, at some point, like with players like LeBron trying to change the system na play, NBA players will have more powers in determining saan sila pupunta. Well, malaking bagay kasi sa US yung, yung freedom eh. Sa, sa sports industry nila, ganun talaga yun eh. Someone like LeBron James, he can attract a lot of stars sa, sa team niya, sa Lakers. Pero yun na nga, I think gusto lang nilang i-balance talaga yung, yung storyline. Kasi it, it means a lot of dollars for them. For us fans, nakikita lang natin, ah, selfish yan, gusto magpa-trade. Ah, yung team, sinasabi na better situation for the player. Pero for them, it's all about business decisions. So I think yun talaga yung parati nilang tinitingnan every time they put something out there. No, why can't, why can't like people look at this, that situation as both business decisions? Yes. If Anthony Davis says, I want to be traded, I want to go somewhere else, That's a business decision in the same manner na si Pelicans <laughs> hindi nila tinuloy Tama. medyo ginulo nila yung Lakers which we will discuss later that's also a business maybe it's a bit or baka personalan ata yun oh, eh. okay. so But, kasi para sa ating mga fans ang sarap lang umupo at manood dyan na ah ito dapat dito yan dapat dun yan yun, 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 it's the essence of being a fan that you can get to say those things pero it, it's rare for a fan to, to say hmm, kung ako siguro yan 
baka nga humingi rin ako ng trade. So, ganun. Siguro, I think yung perspective lang talaga ng mga tao na hindi natitingnan ng, ng public kung paano mag-operate yung, yung dalawang sides sa NBA. Okay, now, speaking of perspective, um, looking at the top teams in the East, so, yes, uh, a lot of us were disappointed na hindi natuloy yung AD trade, but there were relevant trades that, that happened that, you know, will have an impact on the Eastern Conference Finals, uh, for instance. So, Mark Gasol going to the Raptors, does he make the Raptors not just better, pero a stronger title contender in the East? For me, yes. Because uh, the Raptors, their strength is being a deep team. Uh, Kawhi Leonard is missing a lot of games. Also, Kyle Lowry, they're still on the winning track. And if you add Mark Gasol to their roster, it makes them even deeper. Uh, they want they want to spread the floor and Gasol has shown na kaya niya talagang tumira sa tres. I think he's also a good addition, especially on defense. Now, for, for the Sixers, uh, that starting lineup is quite strong. On paper, yes, it, on paper. it looks really, really strong na dinagdag mo si Tobias yes, But my worry was, before this, they were already playing well. And yung may, mga napakawal nilang pieces like Wilson Chandler and Landry Shamet, medyo crucial part yan sa, sa rotation nila. So it's interesting to see kung paano na ngayon, alam nilang makakapag-compete sila for a title, bigla silang nagbadali na kumuha agad ng, ng talents. Yeah, yung trust the process ngayon, medyo <laughs> ano, super speed siya nga. Oh. Kasi you, you bring in a Jimmy Butler and then di ba, parang yung chemistry nila was tested and then now you're bringing yep. in a Tobias Harris. Now let's say, kunyari, a, a fan's concern could be Tobias Harris was putting up great numbers. Now you go to the Sixers, I mean, is it realistic for Tobias Harris to say, I still want to get those numbers? Or will he embrace na, I mean, Joel Embiid is a star and Ben Simmons is the star, Butler is a star. So, kaya ba niya to like, well, okay, I'll step back and just uh, well, you know, my for, role here. For the Sixers, I think the ball will always go through the hands of Ben Simmons. Uh, Joel Embiid and rightfully so and nandiyan pa si Jimmy Butler we, we all know in the clutch they go to Jimmy Butler pero of course JJ Redick needs his touches also yeah. I think the role that Tobias Harris can play for for the Sixers is uh, spread out for shooter he's very versatile another guy they go they can go to in, in crunch time pero yun na nga yung tanong is he willing to defer sometimes because nung nasa clipper siya puro sa kanya talaga yung bola doon he was leading the team in scoring Okay, so looking at the, the elite teams of the East, they've made their moves. Not, you know, not as splashy like a, as an like Anthony Davis trade, but still relevant. Bucks also made a move. Yeah. Uh, so Sixers make a move. Raptors make a move. How does that change the tingin mo dun sa uh, race for best team in the East? Well, I I still think there are three teams competing for the title in the East: uh, Milwaukee. Uh, the Raptors, eh, the Celtics are there also, pero yung Sixers, I think, mas, ma, mas mabigat. Uh, pero it's interesting to see also the Celtics, once na pumasok sa playoff mode, is baka iba yung laro nila dahil veterano na sila, magkakasama sila. Pero for me, it's really uh, an equal, equal race. Uh, para sa akin, mas exciting pa nga panoorin yung East right now kung how things will unfold. All right, uh, we'll talk about the West. When we return because the unibrow stayed put in the Big Easy. So what's next for LeBron James and the Lakers? We'll talk about that when we return.